Okay, so I'm going to do 245 here, and today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends exclu Walmart exclusive Thanos, so let's stay tuned. Okay, I actually have two of this because why I have more still in the box because I had actually bought this and then my they actually ordered one for my birthday a couple years ago uh, when this came out, and so that's how I actually ended up with two of them. So I just left one in the box since I got another one open over here. So, so let's start with the one of the packages here, go with the packaging. And as you can see, it's pretty dusty because it's been on my shelf for a while. We got a cool infinity gone at the top there, you know, Legend series. This is a Lighter packaging where it's more narrow. The early Marvel Legends was wide at the bottom. She has Hasbro logo, Walmart exclusive, and uh, this was originally a build a figure too, by the way, which I do have the two legs of the original one. I never did complete the original one, so this actually worked out good for me. It's a uh, portrait of Thanos on the side there with the Infinity Gauntlet. You know, same thing on the other side. You run to the back, you know, you got a portrait of Thanos there and a you know Reed, you know Legend series, you know, not much more at the bottom there. So let's. You'll get into the figure itself. So here's the figure, you know, outside the box, which is, you know, I already have this other one on the box, so I got one open. And uh, he does have a few alternate uh, options, and uh, which I'm, I'm going to go over the figure first before I go over the two alternate options here. But so let's, you know, start with the articulation. So for articulation, Thanos has a ball jointed head. There's no hinge in there, just a ball joint. He's got a hinge at the shoulder, a double hinge at the Elbow there, maybe it's a single hinge. I can't, yeah, I think it's a single hinge. He's got a swivel and a hinge at his wrist. He's got a thigh cut articulation at, at his waist there, so pretty good movement. He's got a double joint at the knee, and he's got a hinge and ankle pivot. So let's go with the sculpt design and color of Thanos, starting with his head. Now, this is the first alternate head where uh, he's got like a grin on his face there, and uh, so I think this was the head the original figure had. I, I can't compare that because I don't have the original figure, but um, he does come with an alternate head, as you can see. Well, he's got more of a kind of a just a kind of a grimace, as you can pop the body one off, which I just camera popped out of, so I get there. Okay, you can, you can put the other head on in its place. It's kind of tight. I think I got it on there. So there's what the other head looks like. So it kind of makes him look a little bit different. He's kind of just kind of. Playing Grimace like he's angry, I guess. But, um, which I don't know which head I prefer. I like both of the heads, really. But, uh, I may prefer this head a little more just because, you know, just because I guess he, that's the original head that came with. So, but, you know, going down to the armor here, this piece is actually removable. You can actually take it off the figure and see that it looks kind of weird. But, uh, see, it just, it's got two pegs on in there where it, it, uh, pegs onto the, Figure there. You see, there's two holes for this peg on too. So this comes off pretty easily. It wants to flop around. So, um, and see, his outfit is like a kind of a teal, coppery blue, which is actually pretty cool. And he's got silver details on his armor there. You know, yellow strap going down. You know, yellow armor here. It's kind of a, more of a gold, I should say. It's more gold. That's more yellow. This is gold. And you see, he's, yeah, one hand has got gold wrist bracer and silver bits on the knuckles there. You know, same thing over here, silver bits of the knuckles. On the original figure, this was silver too down here. Which, you know, the alternate piece on his arm here, you can uh, take and pop the hand off, which is kind of hard. <clears throat> there we go. And you take and, see, that's one to flop around. You take pop that off, and then you can, in its place, put on the Infinity Gauntlet. And as you can see, that looks really cool. He Definitely will be displayed with the Infinity Gauntlet because you know that's just the whole thing about Thanos. And uh, as you can see, now the colors in the comic books are different than the movies, so I can't remember exactly what each stone is in the comics. But as you can see, more of the blue and silver colors going down to his pants there. He's also got gold boots with yellow details, like a yellow circuitry, I guess is pretty cool. And on the back, he's got like a yellow spine going down, you know, pretty much the same thing on the back. Now, I don't have the original Builder figure, but I do have the two legs. Because I had, I had bought two figures from that little figure wave. I think that was the Age of Ultron one. Which, why they had Thanos as the build figure in the Age of Ultron, I don't know. I don't know what. They did do the Ultron build figure, so I don't know why they did put Ultron as the build figure in the Age of Ultron. That, yeah, that didn't make any sense to me, but um, I forgot which two figures it came. One of them was Captain America and Iron Man, I think, is the two I got from that wave. So I 
I can't remember which leg came with which. I have to find the packages to tell which one came with which. But as you can see, there's you can tell there's some color differences between the two legs there. So here is compared to an uh, old Toy Biz Thanos I have, which that Toy Biz Thanos, as you can see, is, is missing some stuff and he's not in the best shape. But um, and you can see this one, this newer one is not exactly a comic book version, as you can see. But you know, it's not. It's more. I think it was the the this the newer one. It was kind of based off a video game. I think. I could I could be wrong, you know. Feel free to comment. But um, as you can see, the Toy Biz one is, is much more of a more of a comic book Thanos. So here he is compared to the two movie Thanos build of figures, which I have completed both of those. And I thought this Thanos was tall compared to other Marvel Legends, but as you can see, he's actually quite a bit shorter than the two movie ones. The two movie ones are actually pretty tall. They, they were taller than I actually thought they were. And um, now, which one of these I like the best? You know, I don't know. I like the alternate option with the Infinity Gauntlet with the more comic book version there. But, um, the movie version, uh, I like the armor on the movie version over there. And, uh, I guess the one on, on the, the, uh, Infinity War version, I guess that was my least favorite. Then I like the armor, the, my, the, I guess, you know, from here, this would be my least favorite. Then this one, then that one. Because, you know, I just really like the movie armor Thanos. I think it looks cool. No, that's the in-game Thanos, which, with the Infinity Gauntlet, that's actually more the Infinity War at the beginning of the movie. But, still... One of my favorite figures I do have. So what do I think of this figure overall? You know, I really like this figure. And I really like that pose to his face. How I display this figure in that pose. I just really like that pose. It's really cool. And, you know, the original build of figure head really fits that pose too. That's why I display it with that head. But, um, so. But still, I really do like this figure. I'm glad they re-released it because, you know, I missed out on the other pieces to do the original build of figure. And the original build of figure didn't have the affinity on it either. So that was kind of a, a missed opportunity they had, you know. They could have included an alternate option with one of the other figures with an infinity gauntlet armor instead of the you know normal and there, but um, which I'm glad they gave you the option, uh, you know, here with the with the regular hand and the infinity gauntlet, which you know I would definitely display him with the infinity gauntlet because you know that's just a Thanos trademark. So if you like this figure, you want to see more more Marvel Legends reviews, give me a thumbs up. That helped me out a lot, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Till next time.